Hi there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to talk about PMS and bloating today. Um, such a common thing that women experience and something that is really not fun to put up with. So this is something that a lot of times gals are told, hey, this is normal, just put up with it. But there are so many things that you can do to be proactive in terms of how you're feeling before your cycle starts. So again, this is gonna be anywhere from three days, five days, sometimes seven days before your period starts. You may notice some PMS symptoms, especially some bloating. The reason is, is that your digestive system slows down. Progesterone, which is a hormone that's higher at this point, really brings everything to a screeching halt because it wants to absorb all the nutrients from the food that you're eating. Super duper, but that leaves you with a slower system overall. That means it's easier to get blocked up, to have a little more inflammation in your intestines and just leaving you feeling like, oh my God, I can't put in my dang pants. So, Here's some things you can do to be proactive about any stomach discomfort, any bloating, things like that. So first off, make sure you're getting enough fiber in your diet. And I, of course, I recommend whole healthy foods for fiber, but if you need an extra fiber supplement of some kind, absolutely add that in. That's going to make a huge difference for you. Probiotics, even kombucha, really, really helpful at this point as well. Again, getting your system to even out more. Uh, one of my favorites is ginger and lemon water. So this is just fresh slices of ginger, fresh slices of lemon in a glass water bottle or in a glass and just drink that all day long. Ginger is really helpful for your digestive system um, anyways and it can be amazing when you start incorporating this when you're noticing your, your belly's a little bloated. Um, essential oils is another thing that can help a ton. So. This is one of those things that for some people, they notice a huge difference right away. Some people, they have to do a little more regular um, use of essential oils to notice a benefit. But oftentimes things like licorice and it's just, you know, putting oil either on your hand or on your belly and rubbing it in. Sometimes people use a carrier oil like coconut oil to help it absorb into your system. But those are also really helpful in getting your digestive system to move along more, which means it's going to decrease some of that bloat. Um, and then, of course, making sure your, your diet is regular this entire time, too. One of the biggest mistakes that women make is actually going up and down and trying these crazy crash things that are really messing up your digestive system more in the long term, which then adds to how much bloating you're going to have at points like this. So keep your nutrition regular, you know, regular fueling, lots of protein, lots of extra minerals. Your body's going to need it at this point. And you'll notice that that helps a ton with any symptoms that you may have. So please let me know if you have any questions on this. This is a subject that so many women need help with and not enough people are talking about. So try these out the next time you're experiencing some bloating. And again, let me know if there's anything else I can answer for you in terms of questions on this. Have a great day.